Hi, it's Leslie, Thousand Pound Sisters. So Amy is in the throes of going through a divorce. Horrible, horrible, and she is not in a good place emotionally. It's been four weeks since she left Michael, and it, now it's time for the first court hearing. Doesn't that seem really fast, four weeks? I, don't, I feel like that, that seems super fast. They probably don't have a lot of them going on down there at this time. But anyway, four weeks, and she's going into court, and she's going to see Michael there. But she's, she's just feeling sorry for herself and just feeling horrible about everything. Even though I wanted a divorce, it still don't change the fact that sometimes a girl just wants you to fight for her and prove that you actually love her instead of just file without me knowing. Oh, when I heard her say that, I was like, no, that is not the words of someone who was like, he's a bum, I can do better, I'm leaving him. That's like the words of a person who is brokenhearted and wanted to save this marriage and still loves him. And I was like, oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Cause he's a bum. Thankfully though, Amy does realize, even though she wanted him to fight for her, that separation is the best for her and her boys. And I tell you, those boys will give you strength cause you always want the best for your kids. Still hard to even imagine that Amanda was married to Michael's brother. I just can't picture that. I can't picture Michael having a brother that would be appealing to Amanda and have them work. She's so like tough and strong and powerful. How could, like, she would just, she would just pummel Michael's brother. Like she would dominate him. How, unless Michael's brother is polar opposite. I don't know. Hard one. I'd love to see what he was like, but let me stay on topic here. It's not about them. It's about Amy and Michael and the kids. But Michael, why in the world? He wants joint custody. I think I want him to have a little bit of custody because of the fact that I grew up without a daddy. I know what it's like. Even though me and Michael's relationship is bad, I still want them to have some relationship with him. You know, at the end of the day, that is their father. Why would he want joint custody? He doesn't, he doesn't, he says he can't take care of these kids. This makes no, I'm assuming it's some, some kind of power move. If you have the kids, then maybe you can get alimony or some kind of something or doesn't have to pay. I don't know, but why? Why would he want that in his life? He doesn't like being alone with them and caring for him anyway. But supposedly right now he has supervised, very good move to have supervised visitation on the weekends. Thank God it's supervised because he's, he's, he's a nut job. But Amy sums up what we're all thinking. And I don't think he wants more custody. He don't take care of him. It's either me or his mom. Yeah, I don't get it. But you know what? I have a feeling we will soon understand why. I'm sure there's a some lawyer is in back of this, you know, pulling the strings, try to get the most out of the situation. Ugh. So I guess Michael went in there and testified that he wants 50-50 custody. So he wants the kids 50% of the time. And I'm like, I guess his mom's around who can watch him. I'm like, Ugh. and I do think he, he, you know, he knows that Amy wants them, you know, she grew up without a dad. So he's going to play to that part that, you know, you don't want your kids not to have a father like you. So, but she wanted 70-30, have he have them 30% of the time. And you know what? He is their father, so he does deserve the chance to be a good father. Never say never. He could change. I don't know. But Amy realizes it's ridiculous. I was the chef. I was the cook. I was the nanny. I was everything in that house. He was the video game player. Absolutely crazy. So they went in there and did all the testifying and all the things, and they couldn't reach an agreement. I don't really understand why. I thought that's what the judge would do. I mean, he could just... but. They didn't. They didn't reach an agreement. So off they go and they got to go back in another month. This is how everyone gets rich in divorces. Those friggin' lawyers, they don't want to settle. Why? And of course, Michael, not that I could have understood a word he said, he declined an interview, but I wouldn't have got anything out of it anyway. Um, but I guess now he's a little camera shy and wants to lay low on that situation. Okay. But anyway, on to some happier news, you know, so Amy and Tammy and the boys are all living together and they're kind of getting back to their old kind of like situation their own kind of vibe again they even made a youtube video again i'm like that's what you're supposed to be doing you're youtubers you gotta make those videos that's how i know you and now that she's living in my house it's like we picked right back up from where we left off for the first time in forever we even made a youtube video hey y'all it's amy hey tammy and today we are making tammy weird Wonder candles weird candles <laughs> oh music to my ears to hear that and just to touch on everybody else, Chris, I guess, because him and his family eat 80 eggs a week. I can't even, I don't know how many dozen that is. I can't do the math, but that is a whole lot of eggs. And eggs were very expensive for a time there. So I guess he's trying to be thrifty. So he got him some chickens so they can produce the eggs and cut down on costs. I don't know. But at the same time, those eggs were really expensive. 
feed was very expensive, so I don't know how that's going to work for him, but, you know, because people around here got chickens, and they said it was very costly to have those eggs, too. But anyway, I digress. That's a little too much information. But anyway, we're all about him, you know, staying healthy and eating the protein, because, you know, protein is where it's at. That's what I've learned. And Misty is doing super well. I mean, they're literally one and a half weeks after surgery, and she's already off her insulin and diabetic medication? How is that possible in a week and a half? Because I thought that was linked to, like, your weight. And she couldn't have lost that much weight to reverse the diabetes, or could she have? That seems crazy. A week and a half? Wow, but that's wonderful news. But anyway, I'm just left with the perplexing question that I think every time I see her, I know nobody else probably cares but me, but why does Chris's wife never show her hair? I mean, she either has like a turban thing on, and today she had a baseball hat, and nobody else had one on. It's not like it was sunny and hot out there. I didn't know why doesn't she show her hair. I mean, I don't know. It was just, it, it, it's, I don't know. Why, why not? But anyway, I follow this nonsense every week. Um, if, if you got to this point, please like the video if you made it this far. The few that did, but please like the video. But, um... I follow this nonsense every week. If you want to follow along, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you next week. Bye.